Hello everyone, Matt the Cat here, and welcome back to another episode of Looking at Matt the Cat Fan Art, the ongoing series where I'll be taking a look at Matt the Cat related fan art. This time there will be no theme today, the theme is just do whatever you want, so for the time being, let's see what you guys came up with for today, shall we? Alright, so... This first one right here was made by Blazebro Gaming, and this is supposed to be a uh, victory screen, you know, from Super Smash Bros. It's like, Red Team wins! So we got me and Cappy, Ultra Michael, and Blazebro Gaming, and <laughs> we got Mario and Robney Rotten? <laughs> Why specifically Robney Rotten? I don't think Mario would get along with Robney Rotten. I think Mario would just, I don't know, burn him with fire flowers or just slam him in a dumpster. Like, he won't even agree with his uh, plans or whatever he wants to do. <laughs> I don't know, it kind of reminds me of the uh, Mushroom Kingdom textures from the... Mario pack for Nintendo Switch, except this kind of takes place in a desert, kind of like the Sarasara Land from uh, Super Mario Land. I really wish Nintendo would show more love for that. I mean, I'm glad with the release of Super Mario Bros. Wonder, they're giving us new locations to work with, but I just want Daisy's Desert to reappear in HD. Is that too much to ask for? Come on, Nintendo. Reference the old games you keep referencing to Super Mario Bros. over and over. Why not Mario Land? Come on! Mario Land and Mario Land 2, give that some love. But other than that, this one is really great. Good job. Oh yeah, so, uh, Blaze is finally getting used to, uh, Gary's mod, and, uh, this was his first screenshot of posing the uh, ragdoll, so I'll be a little bit generous with my criticism this time. So, it's supposed to be him, that's me, that's supposed to be Bacon Kitty, I, don't know, th I think that's supposed to be Junior Boy right there, and one of these is his Kyochi, whatever her name is, and Chaotic, it, correct me if I'm any wrong with these, and uh, Honestly, there are some legit things that I do like seeing you. You learned how to do the finger pose where you got the thumbs up, which is really good. It seems like you're getting used to that. And you're, look at the wink on your smile, man. It seems like you're also getting the hang of the expressions with the uh, face poser. The only slight nitpick I could kind of see is that <laughs> I don't know why I'm holding my gun like like this for some reason when it should be, I don't know, like gripped. There, there is a way to uh, make a character look like it's gripping. If it's because of the hitboxes not being able to uh, reach in with the hand, you can, you can turn off collisions for the models. All you gotta do is hold C, right click on the character model, and press disable collisions then the uh, gun should be able to uh, match up with the hand, and you could just use finger poser to close each individual finger, and it'll make it look like you're holding a gun, kind of like this. Uh, but other than that, I, I see that you're getting the hang of it, so uh, this is good progress. He also made another one, so let's see what he's doing right now. Oh, okay, so... He, he's getting better. He, I see that he's getting better. So this one's another one, which just... Well, there's Bacon Kitty. I don't know why he's wearing a uh, heavy winter coat. There's Blaze. There's me in my original form with Cappy. Chaotic. I think that's Junior Boy. And there's Ultra Michael. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Th this looks so much better. I also love the... Uh, the pump up that you did with Chaotic, because if we go back here, like the last pose, I'm, I'm not sure what's happening here, but like 
the hand is like up there and the arm is like through the face, but you seem to fix it with it right here, cause like, I, I know clipping happens in 3D, but I'm very, very picky when it comes to clipping models into geometry. So much so that I even get a little bit irritated where when it's nothing that I can't do. Like, I'll show you a few examples of some clipping in my uh, content that unfortunately I couldn't fix, no matter how much I wanted to have no clipping at all. But this is improvement. I, I love seeing improvement from the first... See, the first time you do it, it's not supposed to be perfect. So the second time you do it, you'll learn what went wrong with the first one, and then you start improving. That That's how practice works, and I love seeing practice here. Good, good job, Blaze Pro. Lovely. Practice makes perfects. Massive improvement with this one. Good job. Moving away from uh, 3D art, now we're doing 2D art. This one was made by Ultra Michael, and, uh, this is a reference to the, uh, Castaway parody from the VeggieTales episode, God Wants Me to Forgive Them. <laughs> a sailor went to CCC to see what they could see, 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 but all that they could see, see, see was the bottom of the deep blue sea, see, see. See? <laughs> I know a lot of people hate that episode, but man, I I'm the only, I'm one of those rare people that finds a, finds a lot of joy with that episode. And I I know there there are some harsh moments where Bob was very rude to Larry and he was acting like a real jerk, but there are a lot of things that make up that episode and make it stand out. And especially the forgive matic puppet script that they included. Which apparently, nobody liked! People kept saying, where's the silly song? Where's the silly song? And then we got hairbrushed and it was like, yay, this is the best silly song ever because it's back. Silly songs are back. No, hairbrush is overrated. We want more forgive matic Bring back forgive matic Stop forgive matic hate. <laughs> but yeah. Lovely. This was fantastic. Okay, this one was a... This one's another VeggieTales reference. It's a reference to a, a silly song where Larry the Cucumber sings the blues. I'm not too familiar with this one because I've never... I think I've only heard that song once in its entirety, but I never saw the episode where this originated from, so... I won't talk too much about it since I'm not familiar with it. The only thing that stood out to me was, I don't care about no cookie! Woo! <laughs> oh man. I'm surprised that he didn't break the guitar when smacking on the cookie. It's like the freaking Jonah movie. You break the guitar before you rip a steering wheel off, but nope, it just... The steering wheel just wasn't properly attached, so of course it was gonna come loose with a guitar. Who cares about logic, am I right? <laughs> but other than that, good job. And this one right here... <laughs> Give us a raise, loser! <laughs> that. That is a reference to, a uh, regular show. I haven't seen a lot of regular show as a kid, but I think I remembered seeing that specific episode. It was, if I remember correctly, it was the, uh, episode where they broke, made a hole in the wall, and they're trying to fa figure out a way to, uh, repair it. That was a weird episode, let me tell you. Look at their soulless eyes. Let them pierce through your soul. <laughs> okay, the, the, again, this was fantastic. 
I haven't seen a lot of regular show to be familiar with it, but again, who am I to argue that this, this is really good? Oh my lord. Okay, so this one was made by Larry Boy Fanatic, and this was actually a birthday gift to me. So this is me riding on Ochi with a bunch of Pikmin, and then we got my real life, my real life version holding a tiny little Ochi. Aww. Because I love Pikmin, and I love Ochi. <laughs> Oh man, I'm so glad that I got to share my, uh, love with Pikmin to you guys. Man, it- it was really stressful being a Pikmin fan, cause like, I only know Pikmin was a thing by watching Chugga Connery's videos, and the only Pikmin game that I ever had at the time was Pikmin 3 for the Wii U and for the deluxe version for the Switch. And it wasn't until we got the Direct where we had 1 and 2 on the eShop. Now I have the entire Pikmin library to play with, and I already completed all four games. Pikmin 4 was such an incredible time. I'll I'll explain that later once I uh, make a, my thoughts and experience video about it, but I can assure you, Pikmin 4, after waiting 10 years, after playing 3, Pikmin 4 is so worth it. Thank you, Larry Boy Fanatic, for being passionate about my love for Pikmin. You rock. <laughs> and speaking of birthday gifts, this one was uh, made by 1-800-AWESOME-SAUCE. This one right here, we got Junior Boy, Bacon Kitty, Awesome Sauce, Cappy LBF, and Blaze. And nice choice for a cake. It's Splatoon themed. Nice! Good for you! <laughs> and uh, on top of that, if we uh, jump right ahead, he also made another birthday screenshot. This time it was for Blaze Bro Gaming, but I just have to put a spotlight on this anyway. We got all six of these characters, except for Cappy. Maybe he's busy trying to collect moons or something. And it's a dance party! Yeah! I'm very thankful for this community. Not only we get to uh, come together and express our thoughts and feelings for certain games and topics that we like, but as soon as someone has a birthday, like first is Awesome Sauce, then it's me, and then it's Blaze Bro Gaming. It, it feels nice. It feels really nice to have so many people come around and celebrate if, if you're well known. And I, I do feel honored. So thanks, Awesome Sauce. You're awesome. Sauce. <laughs> All right, so this final one right here was made by, I believe his name goes by VGG Braden. I'm sorry if I pronounced it incorrectly. So, this one right here, it's a nice simple sketch of me and Cappy. Nothing else going around here. It's just me and Cappy. <laughs> and you know what? Sometimes the little things, that's all you really need. Man, I wonder what would have happened if I never pushed on the partnership of me and Cappy. I don't know where I would be if it weren't for Super Mario Odyssey, which was the main inspiration how I started this channel in the first place. It almost might make you think that Cappy is my favorite Mario character. And you know, he is one of my favorites. Even though Yoshi is still my personal favorite, I'm still memorizing. I'm still... I still have a soft spot for Cappy because he appeared and one of my favorite Mario games of all time. No, 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 My favorite overall game of all time. No other game has ever topped Super Mario Odyssey before. Maybe a remake of Thousand Year Door or a uh, actual return to form of Paper Mario would top Odyssey, but 
Until then, Super Mario Odyssey is staying on its throne. But yeah, I'm glad that I have my OC and Kathy right next to each other. It is so nice to have a duet and a little buddy on your side. Very thankful for it. So that was another episode of looking at Matt the Cat fan art. Thank you guys so much for submitting your art, and I promise to keep doing more as long as you keep the fan art coming. Now, let's bring back the theme, shall we? The winner of today's poll is SpongeBob SquarePants. So next episode, you'll be sending me SpongeBob-related fan art. It could be based off of an episode, it could be based off any of the movies, it could be based off of Battle for Bikini Bottom. Heck, you can even reference the SpongeBob musical. Bonus points if you do so. <laughs> Alright, let's give away some shoutouts for participating in this episode. Blaze Bro Gaming, Ultra Michael487, Larry Boy Fanatic, 1 800 Awesome Sauce, and VGG Braden. Now let's end with a compilation of art that I didn't cover, but deserve the spotlight anyway. So that was all the time that I got for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this one, and I'll see you in the next video. Meow meow.